a Super Home Wi-Fi EW3000GX Pro. Welcome everyone. Ahmed Shukri here, Rajiv Bo Sales Engineer. If you truly care about your home internet quality, about controlling and monitoring every detail, or if you are a gamer choosing professionalism in your ranking, this is your chance. In the market, we have seen enterprise gateways, small medium business gateways, and from any other vendors, there is simple home routers. But today, Regeri brings us something truly different. A new generation of super home router. He is not Superman. He is a super home Wi-Fi for your network. Frequency bandwidth 160 MHz. Supports dual WAN ports, each at 1 GB. Combining to deliver up to 1.8 GB of blazing fast speed internet downloading for a truly next generation home wi-fi experience five high gain antenna plus five independent signal amplifiers both signal strengths by up to 40 percent covering a huge area with three seamless stable wi-fi the three word penetration that is not everything about this device. When you add it to your home network, you are not just buying another router. You are upgrading your entire lifestyle. Let's explore it together. Why we call it Super Home Router. The device equipped you with the Game Fast Gaming Engine. It opens a dedicated channel for gaming traffic, ensuring your gameplay stays unaffected by other services. Powered by Regeri, self-developed Wi-Fi quality of service technology. It intelligently adjusts priorities in real time, delivering the ultra-fast speeds for every player on every device, ensuring high stability for up to 10 multiplayers at the same time. With WPA3, enjoy advanced password encryption and the protection against brute force attacks keeping your home Wi-Fi safe at all times. And with guest Wi-Fi speed limits and isolation, your visitors stay connected without ever compromising your main network. Now it's time to get technical. We will start with one of the strongest features, load balancing. Normally, features like this are only found in enterprise or business router. But here, Rege brings it right to your home. For gamers, streamers, or anyone who cares about speed and stability, one ISP connection, sometimes it's not enough. With load balancing, you can aggregate two ISP connections for better speed and higher connection quality. Physically, all you need is to connect the second ISP to the one one port. And now, let me show you how to configure it. Before activating the second one, Let's first test the internet speed on my laptop. I disabled Wi-Fi. I am only connected now to the router directly through the Ethernet connection. This is the default IP of EW series. As you can see, it is only 30 megabit per second download and around 2 mega or 1 mega for upload. Now let's activate the second one interface. Default IP 192.168.110.1 Configure Okay, no need for this one now We will talk about this one in another video Country Press next Skip this one for now We will talk about also in another video We will discover all features here one by one on separate other videos. For now, we will focus on enabling the load balancing. To enable the second one, click on Internet. This is the recent source of Internet. We can choose it DHCP, Triple PoE, Static IP, or L2TP. We will press on More. One. 
Now it's only single line activated. To enable the load balance, we need to activate the dual one. Now I'll connect the ethernet cable from ISP2 in the WAN1. Okay, now WAN1 is already connected and getting an IP. Also, we have the same option, triple PoE, DHCP, or static IP. To check that both WANs are already connected and configured right, we press on internet again. You will find 1.0 and one one. Now it's time to set the load balance mode and policy. Click more, press on load settings. For the load mode, there are two options, balanced or primary and secondary. If you select primary and secondary, one one is active while the other one stays on standby. If the active one fails, the standby one immediately takes over, protecting your network from downtime. But if you want to aggregate both one speeds, which is what we need here, to balance it. Now let's move on to the policy, which control how your traffic flows. The first option is based on link. This is the one that enables speed aggregation. I'll press save. But we may face some issues. For example, when trying to log into bank account. Let me explain why this happens. When we use this load balancing method, the buckets of each session are split across the two one connections. From the firewall perspective, it appears as the same user is attempting to connect from multiple different paths at once, similar to the behavior of DDoS attack. As a result, the firewall may block the session. To solve this issue, we can rely on one of two methods. The first is based on source IP. The second is based on source and destination IP. Which one you choose depends on your needs. Let me explain the difference between them. In the first method, which is based on source IP, if your initial session begins through 1-0, then all of your subsequent sessions will continue to use the same one. Your packets will not be sent through the other one unless your source IP changes and it becomes the turn of that IP to use 1-1. In that case, you will remain routed through 1-1 and no packets will return to 1-0, even if you open multiple sessions or thousands different websites. If you are the only user working from a single PC on your home, the source IP method may not be your best choice. Why? Because all of your traffic will stay logged on the same one until that line is fully consumed. The other one won't be used effectively. That's why my advice for users who live alone is to consider the second option. In the second method, which is load balancing based on both source and destination IP, the behavior changes here. The same laptop may initiate sessions to different websites or applications, each with its own destination IP. In this case, the router assigns each new session to a one link. According to the destination IP, once a session is established, it remains on that one until it ends. For example, if you open an online banking session, it will continue running on the same one, ensuring stability and avoiding interruption. Now, let's repeat the speed test after enabling the one aggregation, so you can see the difference for yourself. Okay, now we will speed test again. Okay, as you can see now, the internet speed is no longer the same as before, because we are now using the aggregation of both ones. To keep this video short and focused, we will stop here. Each video in this series will cover one feature in detail. This is the first episode with EW3000GX-Pro and more are coming soon. Stay tuned because this will be your complete guide to the Super Home Wi-Fi. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.